Right now, I'm in the process of the waves. I don't got a man right now. But you're gonna see him though, that someone had a grill, had everything. We're gonna All be the doing girls it, man. Already, man. Come on, take a walk with me though. What's going on guys? As you can see, we are at the airport on our way for our third hair transplant. Guys, now we will be going to Nairobi, Kenya. I'm gonna get further in depth on why I chose Nairobi, Kenya instead of going to Turkey. Now, I was supposed to go to Turkey, but I had two previous hair transplants in Nairobi, Kenya. So it seems like God was like, Jackson, you have to go back to the promised land. You have to go back to where you started. And I'm gonna break down why exactly I didn't go to Turkey and I'm going back to Nairobi, Kenya. Okay guys, so like I was saying, I've had all my previous hair transplants done in Nairobi, Kenya. It's crazy how things work. I was going to get this hair transplant done in Istanbul, Turkey, like 99.9% .9 of people that are out there getting this procedure, but everything works in divine order. The doctor contacted me on WhatsApp and was like, Jackson, how's everything going with your hair? I just feel like God wants me to go back to Nairobi, Kenya. So as you can see guys, just off of the first like front part of it right here, it looks good now. Typically, when you're looking at somebody, you're uh, looking at them straightforward. You're not looking at them from the top. So that's the part that we're gonna be working on. We're gonna take some more hairs from the back, put them onto the top, and that's gonna give us the more illustrious look that we're going for. This flight to Nairobi is no joke. I'll be going from Columbus, Ohio to Atlanta, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia to Amsterdam, and Amsterdam to Nairobi, Kenya. I'm gonna give you guys the complete yeah, process of too, this whole so. journey. That guy is super loud, and we are going to get our third F-U-E hair transplant. Grab your popcorn, take some notes. Let's get into it, y'all. Let's get it. Hi. Right. Okay, guys, I am currently in Amsterdam right now. This is my last leg to Nairobi. Let me give you a few tips on if you are gonna take this journey. You are gonna need a visa to enter Kenya, and you are going to need a PCR test if you are not I have both of those documents. It's always funny how when I print those documents out, laminate them and give them to the person at the front desk, they're always like, oh, you're like really about your business, seeming shocked. I'm like, yeah, like I'm really about my business, man. So you see, I got the hat on now, man. It was cold on that plane. So I'm gonna get back to you guys and uh, live from Amsterdam, man. All right, let's get it. Let's talk about today's sponsor. Let's get checked. A worldwide leader in at-home health tests that puts you in control of your health care. I love Let's Get Checked because it gives me the freedom to understand what's going on in my body without having to get a doctor's permission. You don't have to leave your home. You don't have to go to a lab to get your blood drawn. It's very convenient. With your blood sample collection kit, you are gonna get the blood collection tube, biohazard bag, kit box, gaze pack, adhesive bandages, and alcohol swabs, sterile lancets, and a return envelope. And when you order your testing kit, it'll be delivered to you in discreet packaging. Once your sample arrives in the laboratory, confidential results will be available from your secure online account within two to five days. Let's Get Check Labs are CLIA approved and CAP accredited, which are the highest ranking levels of accreditation. Your results are reviewed by the Let's Get Checked clinical team. In some cases, the clinical team can prescribe medication that can be sent to the pharmacy of your choice. The reason why Let's Get Checked is so important, as a man, you need to know your testosterone levels, and that's the test that I'm taking, especially when you're getting something like a hair transplant, because you want to make sure that you're healthy and ready to go when the time is near. Visit trylgc.com backslash Coops Corner and get 25 percent off your test using the code it'll be down below in the description health is wealth make sure you go to lexgetcheck.com and use that code coops corner okay guys back to the video yeah me said and tears ago my life be like yo never looking at yet they bark out she got the smokies man i gotta get some smokies Good morning, guys. Whew. Yesterday was crazy, man. Got straight to the Airbnb from the airport. We're about to head in and we're about to get the transplant done, guys. All right, let's get it. Time for the lions to roar, baby. Let's go. These are the steps of the steps of concern. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a 
remember these steps, baby. Guys, pancakes, they forgot my syrup, it's all good. Eggs, toast, palm fries. Good old Java house here in Nairobi. I'm gonna get back to you once we get started with the hair transplant. Let's get it. So doc, uh, what are we looking at right now? How many, how many grafts? How long of a procedure? We are going to work with at most 1,200 grafts. Just to fill on the area, the, the patches area, and try to give it like a bit more dense. We got afro hair. We really have to go in stages and slowly. Yeah. That is what you need at yeah. the moment. Yeah. Haircut time, guys. Can you tell them again, Peter, like the areas that we're going to focus on? This area. This is the patchy area. This area. This area. As you see, if I close them, you look it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we need to do. Going in stages is the best way of doing it because um, you get the best results. We have done two procedures. This is the third one. And we're going to maintain the same harvesting afro hair and why it's so important for us to come to people who know our hair basically very very important true because afro hair is this is magical you find a kinky you find a curl you find a c type you find a peppercorn really it takes time to understand this afro hair and if you see before and after cooper now he's also happy with the results so far which he has achieved so afro hair requires people who also understand and be able to do these things on a daily basis it's not fun guys but you gotta go through it to get to it personally for myself i appreciate it for you coming back to artistic uh, it shows that you have confidence with us we're going to start okay we have different types of punches for afro hair we have pacific punches So with this being my third hair transplant, I was used to the needles. What was more so uncomfortable was me laying face down for that period of time. Alright guys, lunchtime. The lion just got back from war. But this is my third time, man. Third time's a charm. I'm about to eat this food. We're gonna get back to the video. But one thing that I want to touch on is how important it is to have a black person doing my hair because they understand the Afro hair. On the first two times that I got the transplant, I never got any infections. Nothing went wrong. I'm about to eat this food, about to continue this journey. It's looking good. Alright All right, guys, time for the needles. <laughs> It's not fun. The blessed needles, huh? The blessed Kenya, baby. Now the needles to the recipient area did hurt a little more, but you have to handle it like a champ. Only the strong survive. Because I'm a king. And now you're strong, man. This corner was bad, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is just the aftercare, yeah? The normal saline, uh -huh. reloading this, yeah? So you spray every 30 minutes during the day, then every 4 hours at night. The, when the day we are taking out the scrubs, it's easy for it to come out. You can damage your graft during the time of taking out the scrubs. So we have to be very careful. So you have to keep it moist for 7 days. This is the oil for the bulk. Okay. After you've removed the bandage, you put some warm water on it, then you apply this oil just to soften up the area. Antibiotic, painkiller, and a small dosage of steroid just to control inflammation and to promote healing. Other places that I saw, people's faces were just bloated yeah. up. Then you give the medication to control the swelling. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, thank you, Doc. Thank you, sir. Nairobi, don't... Nairobi. Please don't leave me hanging. Please don't leave me hanging, Doc. <laughs> That's what it's called an evening rush. Evening rush. Okay, guys, we are complete with my third hair transplant here in Nairobi, Kenya. Now, this hair transplant was the least painful. Now, the needle still hurt, but the most uncomfortable part was really laying face down as they were getting the grafts from my donor area. Just go in there with the mindset of you know it's going to be painful, but you have to go through it to get to it. As you guys can see, we're looking kind of crazy. I came into my Airbnb, the reception lady, like she saw me yesterday, and we were kind of, you know, we were kind of looking at each other and then she saw me today she was like <gasps> i was like no like i'm okay like i'm feeling good man as you guys saw earlier in the video there are some very important steps that you have to take i have to take the pills 
I have to spray every 30 minutes. He said every four hours when you're asleep. But I try to just wake up and do it because I have to sleep in a different position anyway. So it's not the perfect ideal sleep, but it's only for seven days, guys. It is completely, completely worth it. And in total, they used 1,400 grafts this go around. I've used about let's say 3,000 grafts. I talked to the doctors too, you know, we, we have a very good relationship. I said, let's just say that we don't get the results that we want with this trip. Let's try to do the beard. Cause like I've seen successful beard transplants, you know, salute to my man, Good Life Joe. He used his beard as a transplant source, but the docs were telling me that when you use the beard, we have issues. And, and I know me, like if I were to shave like completely down, all the way to just my like naked face it would be mountains of bumps that's just the way that my hair grows it's very coarse it's very thick but that's also a good thing that is coarse because it would fill in certain areas like so good i told them like as a last resort you might have to go to it you never know this is a process this is not an overnight sensational type of thing. So when you go into getting a hair transplant, you're gonna realize that it is a process. And now we're looking at months before you really start to see results. I was 80% satisfied with the results I had before I had this third hair transplant. After I'm done, I believe that I'll be around 100%. The way that we're gonna attack this is, is just completely different. As far as the bandage that's on the back of my head, that gets to come off at 10 a.m. tomorrow. I'm in Nairobi, it feels very good to be back here. Like I'm not gonna lie, I get a different type of energy here in Nairobi. Plus it's funny just noticing little stuff that I forgot like people from Nairobi. You already know what y'all do. You know that everything is yeah, yeah. Oh man, I've heard so many double years. It's crazy. I'm just really happy that I went with Kenya instead of taking that trip to Istanbul because I'm just comfortable here, man. Like I know Dr. Babu. I know Dr. Peter. I already know the setup. They know my head. They know what my donor area looks like. So I feel very comfortable and I have afro hair and i just know that they're not going to steer me in the wrong direction and we're going to get the results that we're looking for it is late i want to get some sleep i'm going to show you guys in about seven days me getting the scabs off and letting you know how this healing process went all right guys stay tuned and i appreciate you for watching let's get it Aye! good morning guys one week later and we are back with the hair transplant update. The week was a little bit different to say the least. Sleeping was difficult, I'm not gonna lie. Specifically last night, my head was just itching too much and I could not wait to get these scabs off. Now, I did trim my hair and I made sure it looked even because I can't go outside looking crazy. <music> We're on our way to the clinic to get these scabs off and see what else the doc has for me. All right, y'all, let's get it. Aye! All right, guys, time to get these scabs off. Peter, yes. how did they look like as far as the, uh, the healing? Quite healed very, very well. Yeah, we just need to take the scabs out and see how our grafts are actually done. But the healing is very good, as you can see, no swelling. Look pretty good to me. Hit very, very fast. Last night was hard to sleep though because they were itching real bad. It's, it, it's time for this grass to come off. Come off, yes. And like I saw how you placed the uh, placed the grass. I was like, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, I was just looking at them. <laughs> and because uh, they were itching, I'm like, oh yeah, like he put a nice big pack in the right area. What like makes the grass fall out? Just not careful enough with the grass. You're going to the shower, you want to wash your you want to clean your, your head. If you're bumping into things, the graft might come out. Guys, this feels freaking amazing already, man. Just getting these off. Oh, I cannot wait. What day are the grafts the most secure? From the third day, from the third day, they start to be secure. But from the sixth day now, that's why you take the scrap off after the sixth day. Okay, guys, now getting the scabs off feels absolutely amazing. But I'm not going to lie. It is going to itch until you get them off. But trust and believe me, it's worth it. When you're looking at that new hairline, you're going to see a brand new man. So we are going to give you a mix of finasteride and minoxidil. Because we also want to promote the blood supply there. There's a small percentage of finasteride in that mixed solution of minoxidil. So it should not bother you much. You know, people when you give finasteride, they start to think now we are going. So use it for a period of four months. Then we see. By four months, your hair is out. And, yeah. and you also know why we give. 
finance prior to is a DHT blocker to block any DHT. This is the donor area. As you can see, it's one week and the hair is actually filled the gaps nicely. Okay, guys, we are here at Artistic Hair Transplant Center in Nairobi, Kenya, sitting here with the docs, and I'm going to ask them the questions that I know you guys want to ask them. Let's get into it. What is the recovery time when someone is getting a hair transplant? The, the recovery time is uh, six days. After six days, so you're coming in, and then now we can watch the stuff. But it takes six days. So with my particular case, I was getting a lot of comments saying, Jackson, oh, you need to take that finish ride, and you need to do this and that. And I wasn't listening. So how important is it to take finasteride and minoxidil? It's very, very important to take finasteride and minoxidil. And basically, the solution we have at the moment is a mix. It's already a mix of finasteride and minoxidil. So you don't have to take a pill of finasteride and then you apply minoxidil. You can forget that. So because your hair is going through a stressful period of that period of falling within one and second month. So that's the period you need to promote the blood supply in those area, increase the blood supply. If you have any side effects or that, you can automatically uh, communicate with the doctor and he will definitely give you the best uh, products that you can continue using. What's the reason why a black person like myself, coming from America, should come to Nairobi instead of going to Istanbul, Turkey? What's the benefits of it? These are Afro hair. We are Africans. The Afro is, is different with the, with the Caucasian hair. So that is what you should have in mind. Who's going to handle your, the, your hair? So we deal with the Afro hair every day. Yeah, I would highly suggest artistic, good people. I'm gonna take this a little bit more serious this time by taking my finished ride of minoxidil. In artistic, you get all the three aspects of this. It is human, science, and art. Thank you. Very well put. All right, guys. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Maybe I'm a fighter, never backing down. Maybe I'm a soldier, standing my ground. So if you're gonna fight me for my art, are you gonna get these battle scars? Maybe I'm a tiger, 20 steps ahead. Maybe I'm a viper, one bite the dead. So if you're gonna fight me for my art, are you gonna get